Well, hello, hello, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Miss Coffee here, and today we're back with a <laughs> Dominar Club sneak peek. Yes. First things first, as usual, huge thank you to the folks over at Diamond Art Club for providing our sneak peek for us today. And what did they provide, you guys? Whoo cha! How many Micah Jelena fans do we have out there? Because today they sent us Melita. Melita is a square canvas. It's a 55.8 by 116.8 square with ABs. And we're going to take a look at this giant canvas and see what all she has in store for us. So let's go ahead and crack into this plastic. Now, I hope everyone's having a wonderful, wonderful day. And if you're not, of course, do something nice for yourself because you know you deserve it. So, so, we're going to get into the, we're going to try, we're going to try to get into the plastic here. Get it off there. Safety first because I don't want to shank myself. And then we're going to get into the box. And of course, we're going to take a look at the toolkit. So before we take a look at the toolkit, uh, I'm going to get it out of there. Toolkit. We get that sticker. Now the sticker you can take and put on for a journal or what have you for me, it's whenever I put my canvases away, I like to stick it to the side over here because then when I stack them up, I can see exactly what's in the box. So we're just gonna put that right there. And then our toolkit. Now this is a square canvas, so your, your contents may vary. Due to the fact that it's a square, you will get tweezers. Now, tweezers do not come in all the canvases, so if you get a round diamond painting from Diamond Art Club, you will not get the branded tweezers. They're just a plain black pair of tweezers with Diamond Art Club's name on them. They are sheathed, meaning it has a plastic cover on them. So if you are not using these, please, please, please make sure to put the sheath back on so that you do not shank yourself. And then, of course, you're going to get your normal things, your multi-placers, your baggies, your boat with the stopper, your pen, which is going to come for this kit. It's orange. Your color may vary. And then you're going to get the plates of wax, the little squishy for your pen, an adorable cover minder, got the cute little yellow daisy, and then we have these beautiful watercolor flowers. So that is the contents of our toolkit. So we're just gonna put all this stuff back in here. And then take and get rid of that because y'all don't care about that toolkit. So let's take a look at this ca at canvas. <laughs> it hit me. All right. So let's take a look at this canvas and see what all Melita has in store for us. Which which Michael Jelena is your favorite of all the ones that you've seen? I have one in mind, but I can't think of the name of it. It's one that came out not too long ago. She's like, maybe you guys know the name of it. It's like purples and blues. It came out just a couple of months ago. I can't remember the name of it. If you can remember the name of that canvas, it's like a it's a Michael Jelena. I unboxed it. It's purple and blue, and she has like I think she has like lanterns or something. Tell me the name of the canvas down in the comment section below. All right, so we have our drip. That's a lot of drills. We got our drills. <laughs> we got that purple paper that everybody loves that has all your instructions on it, and then we have our canvas. So we are going to take. This is like a blanket. Um, this thing is oh. One thing I love about Michael Jelena kits is that there are a lot of color blocking confetti. What color blocking confetti you might be asking? Don't worry, I got you. Color blocking confetti is when you have a couple of colors that are the same in a patch. So a patch of the same colors, but they're kind of all over the place. So here, let me show you. Are you ready? Bam! Oh my God. She's about the size of my bed. <laughs> Look at the size of this thing. So color blocking confetti is when you have a, a patch of the same colors, but they, they vary. So a patch of color here, patch of color there, patch of color here. But they could all be different colors, but patches of the same color. So like a patch of purple, and then a patch of pink, and then a patch of blue, and then a patch of green. So that is what color blocking confetti is. Hopefully that didn't confuse you. So this is Melita. Melita is a big girl, but big girls need love too. So... Melita is absolutely stunning. I love her border going around the sides there. You do get a lot of color blocking along, sorry. You do get a lot of color blocking along the sides over here. So I love the fact that it's pre-framed so it has that frame for you in the diamond painting itself. And then we have something going on down here. I'm not exactly sure what that is, but uh, it looks like a mortar or like a pedestal, like a mortar and pedal thing. You know what I'm talking about. And then we have the candles in the background there. One of the reasons why I absolutely love this canvas, and you probably already guessed it if you've been here for a while, I love moon phases. So to have the moon phases, I really hope that they do something with the moon phases because, oh my God. Oh my God. All right. 
So let's put you back down so we don't drop you. So we have our schematic here. Melita by Michael Jelena is the start end date at the bottom here. You're going to get all your kit information again. And then it's going to tell us how many colors it has. For surprisingly, this kit, this kit only has 47 colors. Which, for a kit this size, you're like, where? Where are the rest of the colors? Because you've seen kits smaller than this with 100 colors. So I'm just saying. When I saw that number, I was like, wait, where's the rest of the colors? So it only has 47 colors. So it's a very doable canvas. Now, I would recommend if you're going to get a canvas this size, make sure you're sectioning it off. Don't leave the whole thing open to overwhelm yourself by looking at how much more you have left to do. So if you section it off, it lets you focus on what you're doing in the present, not what's coming up in the future. So that can be daunting looking at the rest of it. So make sure you section these kind of kits off so that you don't get overwhelmed by the canvas itself. So... We have our schematic. Now we have our drill. Now, if you're someone who hates the noise of that crinkling plastic, you're going to mute your phone for like mm, 30 seconds. Or until you see me stop struggling. You ready? All right, here we go. I'm seeing something. I'm seeing something. I don't think I have my flashlight down here. Now, typically, typically... When you see E300, that typically means something. So let me go get my flashlight quick. All right, so I got my flashlight. Now this isn't an ordinary flashlight. So if you can't tell, it's a UV light or like a black light. So with these, if there is a color that you have that you think might glow in the dark, first, you're gonna lose the lights like that. Then you're gonna take that color because E310 I don't know if it glows in the dark, and I didn't lose the lights a whole lot. as It's daytime. I'm sorry. But you take the flashlight, put it on there like this. Now, you never want to put these on top of a lamp or anything that gets hot because that plastic will melt, and you will have drills everywhere. But doing something like this to see if it glows in the dark or not, and there you have it. You have glow-in-the-dark drills on Melita. Now, I'm not exactly sure 100% where the glow-in-the-dark drills go, but you have quite a few bags of these glow-in-the-dark drills. So what you can do is you can buy this little light. It's an East, whatever that is. I got it from Amazon. It doesn't want to focus on it. Okay, okay. There we go. So I bought it from Amazon. It's just a little light that if you shine it on your drills, it'll let you know if they glow in the dark. So you just put it on there like this for a few minutes. And then once you remove it, you see all the glowing happening? That's how you can get them to glow in the dark for you. So some of them are charged by the sun rays. Some of them are charged by black light. So these particular ones are usually charged by black light. So let's get the lights back on. So we have glow in the dark drills in our canvas. Oh my God. And we don't have just a couple of them. We have quite a few of them, which tells me that a bunch of the black in this kit is going to glow in the dark. I'm not mad about it. So E310 coming in from Diamond Art Club is going to be a glow in the dark drill. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15 bags of E310. That means all 15 of those bags glow in the dark. Now, never get discouraged when you see this many colors of one color. It doesn't mean you're going to use them all. They like to give you extra just in case something goes wrong, like you, you drop a bag of drills or it comes up missing somehow. They give you 20% extra for in case of oopsie daisies. Okay, so 15 bags of glow in the dark 310. Oh my gosh. And then we got 3799, 3809, double trouble there for 3809, triple threat, quadruplets. So four bags of 3809. F 16 bags of E310. Let's go. 436, 632, 336, double trouble for 336. 3865 coming in with a triple threat there. So there's three bags of 3865. 415 coming in with that double trouble. 317 coming in with double trouble as well. Triple threat for 317. We have 762, 435. 935 coming in for double trouble there. 936 also coming in for double trouble. And then 841. Okay. 
Then we have 3808 coming in with four bags. So one, two, three, and four bags of 3808. I love that color. 3772 coming in with double trouble there. 318 coming in with double trouble. Triple threat coming in for 38 or 318. So that's three bags of 318. 413 coming in with double trouble there. 937, 3782, 437. 3858, 3857, 434, 621, 934, and 3756. And then our last string of drills. Whew. That's a lot. <laughs> our last string of drills coming in 839, 597, 823, 828, 433, 3760, 919, 3021, 833, 3810, 3787, eh, eh, AB alert. Our first AB in the kit coming in number 108. 108 coming in our, our first AB in this kit. And if you are new to diamond painting and you don't know what an AB is, don't worry, I got you. AB stands for Aurora Borealis. It's an iridescent coating that they put on the drill to make them sparkle just a little bit brighter. And when you put those down on the canvas next to your regular drills, it'll pick up the light from the surrounding drills and make them bright, sparkle brighter as well. Because if one shines, we all shine, you heard? So 108 coming in is our first AB in this kit. Now let's take a look at what the rest of the colors are and then we'll go back and find where that particular AB goes in this kit. Also remember that DAC's ABs are less than 150. So any number on your canvas that comes in less than 150, 149, and below are going to be ABs on your diamond paintings, okay? So 108Z918, y'all. See if we can see it. We can see it a little bit. We can see it a little bit. So you see on the top of those drills right there, you see like what looks like cayenne pepper. <laughs> it's not cayenne pepper, it's glitter. <laughs> so this is called a fairy dust drill. Fairy dust drills are indicated by the letter Z as in zebra on your, your casing for your drills. And this one here looks like it's got a, a little bit of cayenne pepper, maybe some paprika, because y'all know that I don't got no taste. It just, it's just for color. So we got paprika on there. You got some cayenne pepper on there. So Z918 is our first fairy dust drill. The fairy dust drills have glitter on them and they do essentially the same thing as the ABs. They're just not as bougie, meaning they don't pop out as much or they're not as much in your face it's more of a subtle sparkle versus an in-your-face sparkle like an AB. So fairy dust drills do have glitter on them. Now, don't worry. The glitter does not come off the drill. It will not come off on you, your project, your kid, or anything else in your house. The, the drill is, the glitter is encapsulated inside of the drill, so it doesn't come off. But it does sparkle a little bit brighter, and it does the same thing as an AB, as it will pick up the light from the drills next to it and make them sparkle brighter as well. So Z918 is our first fairy dust. Let's see if we can find any more special drills. 840, 3325, 640, eh, eh, AB alert, yes, 106 is our next AB in this kit, so number 106 coming in is this beautiful, beautiful, like, cake batter color, it looks like cake batter, don't it, what kind of cake is that, I don't know, rainbow cake must be, because look at the AB drills, look at that sparkle, oh my goodness, so we got a little bit of cake batter going in for 106, 106 being our second AB, and we'll find out where that goes here in a few minutes. Let's get through the last couple of these drills. 801, 598, and 738. So that is all the colors that come in this particular kit. Now, that's a lot. But we got two ABs, one fairy dust, and one glow-in-the-dark drill coming in on this kit. So there's not a whole lot of ABs and fairy dust going on, but you're getting a crap ton of glow-in-the-dark drills. So real quick, as we always do, because who got time to sit here and watch me try to put all these back in here and struggle? We like to do a little movie magic, so let's just get them back in there. All right, so we got those back in the bag. So let's take a look to see if we can find some of our ABs and stuff, shall we? So, like I said, we have two ABs, one fairy dust, and one glow in the dark, okay? Now, we're going to take a look at the legend first. We're going to do a close-up, and then I will zoom out so you guys can actually see where I'm pointing to. So, for a Diamond R Club, your legend's going to be at the top left and the bottom right of your canvas. Makes it super convenient for whenever you're working, whether you're working at the top or the bottom, to see the legend very clearly from either direction. Now, 
for your Diamond R clubs, you're going to look for your ABs at the top of your legend. So your top of your legend is going to depict the numbers less than 150. So 149 or below. So number one and two here are less than 150. So those are going to be our ABs. So 108 and 106. So that cake batter and then the smash peas. Okay. And, but if you want to look for any other special drills in your canvas for a Diamond R club, you have to travel the whole way down to the bottom of your canvas. And that is where you're going to find your other special drills, whether they be electric or iridescent or what have you, they're going to be down here at the bottom. So E310, which is that glow in the dark that we had, is down here for the dot for our number, our, our usual 310 symbol for diamond R club, which is that black circle or the black square with a white dot. And then for our fairy dust, we're looking for the letter S as in Sam, which should be super easy to find seeing as how there's not a whole lot of that color on this canvas. So looking right here at the top, I'm already finding some of that fairy dust at the top here on the accents of the little hair piece that they're wearing. And then right here on the brassiere and then on the back of it as well, we got some more of that letter S. We have some more down here on the uh, belly. What is that? It's like the belly scarf. It's like a little belly scarf that they got on. So there's not a whole lot of that color on this canvas. So it's really easy to spot because that color stands out pretty well. And then the next one, of course, the 310, all the black squares with the white dots is going to be 310. So your moon phases are going to glow in the dark. The tattoo is going to glow in the dark. Like this whole background with the, the thunderstorm and everything in the background, all of that is going to glow in the dark. Now... This whole bottom piece also glows in the dark. So from the looks of it, you're going to get like a silhouette type version of her where the silhouette of her is essentially going to glow in the dark. Okay. Now, so for that is for your glow in the dark drills and your fairy dust. But what about your ABs? So your ABs are going to be numbers one and two. So I'm seeing some number two up here in the headdress already. Um, number ones are going to be a little bit further down. There's no number ones on her face. So if you're worried about that, it's not on her face. I'm going to guess they're going to be on her wings, like right there on her wing. And then if we travel a little bit further down, down here to the candles, we're going to see some of that number one. So on the candles that are around her are going to be some of that number one. Then I'm thinking maybe down here. We have a couple of them down here for the number one. So let's do a zoomed out view so you can actually see where I'm pointing to on the canvas. It is a large canvas, so bear with me, okay? Pointer. All right. <laughs> so you're going to get some of those number ones down here. Um, in the red areas on the canvas, like this here on her belly and then on the, the little, uh, her top. And then on the head, oh, I'm sorry, on the belly piece, on the top, and then the headdress is going to have some of the ABs as well. So up here, oh, real quick. One thing I did not check, the eyes. Okay, so I'm not seeing any ABs or anything in the eyes. Okay, so, so back to what we were doing. So you're going to get the ABs on the candlesticks itself. You're going to get some of those ABs on, sorry, I have to readjust her because she's so large. She's so large. <laughs> So down here, you're going to get some of those uh, number twos as well on the, the skirt. You're going to get some of the fairy dust drills on the skirt as well up in this area here. And then on the um, top of her outfit here, you're going to get some of the ABs down here for that number one color, that, that cake batter color. You're going to get that in the candles here. The, the Like I said, the number two is going to be in the green parts of this. You're also going to get some of the number ones and the wings. And then the moon phases, all the black in that background where that thunderstorm is, which is going to look really awesome with the glow in the dark. And then at the bottom here is going to be all those three tins that glow in the dark. So this canvas is absolutely stunning and going to be available to you guys. This canvas is going to be available to you guys Saturday, April 20th. Yes, on 420, this canvas is going to be available to you. Now, I have a feeling that this canvas is going to go pretty quick because Diamond Art Club doesn't typically do a whole lot of glow-in-the-dark kits, especially with Michael Jelena, and their kits look amazing when they glow in the dark. So this kit is going to go super fast. So if this is a kit that you're interested in, Diamond and Ruby members, you already know the drill. You get first dibs. So first dibs coming in at 9 a.m. Pacific, 10 Mountain, 11 Central, and 12 Eastern. Now, don't worry. Don't worry. If you are not a diamond and ruby, 
Ruby member, or you miss it in the VIP launch. They will be launching it again 30 minutes on the hour later. So 9.30 p.m., 10.30 uh, Mountain, 11.30 Central, and 12.30 Eastern. So if this is a kit that you're interested in, you're going to want to go ahead and be quick with the fingers because I have a feeling it's going to go quick. Now, with that said, a huge thank you to the folks over at Diamond Art Club for providing this canvas for us. A huge thank you to you for watching. Now, for this canvas, if you have any other questions or comments or concerns, you're going to leave those down in the comment section below. Let me know what your favorite Michael Jelena is. And if you can tell me which Michael Jelena just recently came out with the lanterns and she's like wearing like a black and purple outfit or something. I can't think of it off the top of my head, but I know you're smart. You'll figure it out. So with that said, I must now bid you adieu, but not before reminding you that it's hard out here in these crafty streets. Drink your water, take your meds, and always remember to be kind to others because you never know what somebody else is going through. Be courteous because it's the right thing to do and always stay cool. And whether I see you in YouTube land or I see you on Twitch, either way, I'll see you when I see you. Bye.